Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sharad Deshmukh. We are watching the microbial content. We are already studying the sterilization and disinfection. Under this sterilization and disinfection, we have already studied some few methods. And today we are going to study the moisture sterilization which is carried out with the uh, different types of the methods. Among these, we have already studied these two, temperature below 100 degrees centigrade and temperature at 100 degrees centigrade. Today we are going to study the remaining two methods. The third one is the steam at atmospheric pressure and the fourth is the steam under pressure. So coming to the first one that is steam at atmospheric pressure. So under this, the steam is generated using the steam one. Generally, we use our, using the cost steam sterilizer or ammo steam sterilizer. And this instrument is mainly consists of the tin cabinet. It has the conical lid to enable the drainage of the condensed steam. And it also having the perforated tray above ensure the material surrounded by the steam. And for routine sterilization purpose, the exposure time is 90 minutes at 100 degrees centigrade. That is the method under at atmospheric pressure. So we know that the water boils at 100 degrees centigrade at atmospheric pressure. And for that purpose, you have to use the temperature 100 degrees centigrade for 9 minutes. But under the same instrument, you can perform one more method. Under this steam sterilizer, you can see the the instrument, how it is uh, having the conical lead. And uh, just I have mentioned earlier, the secondly we can use the temperature 100 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes for 3 successive days. And it is used for the media containing sugar and gelatin. And this process is known as tindalization or also referred as the intermittent sterilization. In this case, the like earlier method we have seen, Temperature below 100 degrees centigrade, it was the method known as the incision, where 80 to 85 degrees centigrade temperature is used, and it is also for the three successive days. So the principle of these both the tindalization and incision is the same, only the it varies in the uses and the temperature. In incision, we are using the temperature 80 to 85 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes for three successive days. Here we are using 100 degree centigrade for 20 minutes for 3 successive days. In that principle we have already seen that the first exposure kills all the residual forms and up to the second exposure the media get incubated to convert the spore into the residual form and they are further killed on the second exposure. And final exposure will kill the remaining organism. It is the same principle. That is why this method is referred as an intermittent type of the sterilization. Alternatively, we can also use the term tindalization, which is commonly used. Next one, we will see about the fourth method, that is the steam under pressure. And for that purpose, we are using the instrument is known as the autoclave. This autoclave works under the principle of the steam under pressure. It is just uh, like the home pressure cooker where also we are using the steam under the pressure. Just we can say it is also the modified form of the pressure cooker. Now it is uh, in some books it is mentioned that it is invented by the Charles Chamberlain in 1879. And the principle behind the autoclaving is the water boils at 100 degrees centigrade at atmospheric pressure. And if boiled in the closed container, boiling point of water increases. So increasing the pressure increases the boiling point of the water. Generally when you boil the water in a container, it that is at atmospheric pressure and that boiling temperature is the 100 degrees centigrade. If you boil the same water in a closed container, that will result into the increasing the boiling point of the water. And the same principle is used when the auto playing. And the mechanism of killing of the microorganism by the autoclaving is mainly by the coagulation of the protein. Now you can see this the small instrument, it is having the uh, particularly the pressure loss used to 
know about the pressure inside the instrument. So, autoblow generally consists of a tough metal known as the gun metal or the steel. It is maybe in the vertical form or in the horizontal form and it is the cylindrical one. And this autoblow has an opening which is meant for keeping the material to be sterilized. The one end is having opening and it is uh, connected with the various uh, like the pressure walls, the safety wall and uh, opening for the steam release. The various uh, uh, are connected to the opening. The particular the pressure valve is to measure the pressure inside. That is the most important in this instrument. A safety valve is the present to permit the escape of the steam from the chamber. So if there is the excess of the steam that can be escaped because we have adjusted the particular pressure inside. So excess of the steam must be escaped. For that purpose you need a safety valve. Otherwise there may be the bursting of the autoclave. So it is the most important uh, part of the autoclave that is the safety valve. Articles to be sterilized are placed in the basket, they are provided with the basket and all articles they must be wrapped in the craft paper and the sterilization process is carried out under the pressure that is 15 pounds per square inch for 15 to 20 minutes. At this pressure you will get the temperature 121 degrees centigrade. So the pressure in the autoclave decides the temperature. So if you keep the pressure the 10 lb per square inch you will get 115 degree centigrade. If pressure is the 5 1 you will get 107 degree centigrade. So but for the working temp pressure of the autoclave is 15 pounds per square inch and that we need the temperature that is 121 degree centigrade and time period required is 20 minutes. So this uh, pressure is only of the pure steam that uh, care must be taken that the, there should not be air remain inside the autoclave because if the pressure is due to the steam and air mixture although the pressure valve will show the 15 pounds but actual temperature will be less than 121 degree centigrade so that first you have to allow to build up the steam you have to release the steam and then close the outlet and then allow to build up the steam up to the 15 pounds and keep it for 15 to 20 minutes so that we will achieve the temperature 121 degree centigrade and for 15 to 20 minutes we will able to kill each and every microorganism including the bacterial spore. So after the process is over, the autoclave should be allowed to cool and if steam any re uh, remaining it should be released very slowly. And this instrument is commonly used to sterilize the number of media which are commonly used in the laboratory just as the nutrient agar, mekongi broth, number of India we are using in the laboratory that are sterilized by autoblow various glassivers can also be sterilized by the autoblow various instruments can be sterilized particular instrument used for the operation theater they are commonly sterilized by autoblowing number of material can be sterilized by autoblowing exception is the material containing the oils, fats that cannot be sterilized by the autoblow but you should know that how to check that your instrument is properly working or not. For that purpose, you need a sterilization control. The biological control is the spores of the Bacillus thermophilus. These Bacillus thermophilus spores are available in the form of the paper strip impregnated with this spore. And these are kept in the various sites in the autoclave. And after the process is over, the strips are inoculated in a suitable medium they are incubated at 55 degrees centigrade for 3 to 4 days. If the growth does not occur that indicate that your instrument is properly working. That means the spores are totally killed. Because these spores are killed at 121 degrees centigrade in 12 minutes. We are performing the procedure at 121 degrees centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes. And that will check that your instrument is properly working. Second is uh, the chemical indicators are also available and various autoclave tapes are also available which give the specific change in color at 121 degrees centigrade or the thermocouples may be also used as a thermometer to measure the 
temperature inside the autoclave.